we have cases that they think that the person was cursed. Um, first, you ask why. Why me? Why of all people? I mean, I, I, I'm a good person. I did not do anything wrong. Why did this happen to me? We give premium in... in It's very hard once you were diagnosed with psoriasis. Um, first, you ask why. Why me? Why of all people? I mean, I, I, I'm a good person. I did not do anything wrong. Why did this happen to me? And the hardest part is that I don't know anyone who has psoriasis. So for me, it just started on my scalp. So I thought it was just regular dandruff. My psoriasis went outside the hairline. So there's a reddish, thick, scaly um, lesions. So that's the time that I went to the dermatologist. They already diagnosed me with psoriasis. Um, psoriasis, or we call it psoriatic disease, is a autoimmune condition. So uh, there's something going on, not just on the skin, so it is a chronic, meaning it's a lifelong disease. It has no cure. It is a uh, inflammatory condition. So it's something going on inside us, inside the body as well. So it is a painful and disfiguring condition. If left unchecked or if left untreated, it may cause to disfiguring and disabling uh, components due to the psoriatic arthritis. And another thing is that um, psoriasis is a non-communicable disease, so it is not contagious. And um, we are also at higher risk of other health conditions, so that is also important. Psoriasis has a genetic predisposition, meaning it is something to do with the genes. So for you to have psoriasis, first you have you need to have the gene, the genes, or the genetic markers for it. We know that in our society we give premium in in good skin, beautiful skin. It should be flawless. Uh, there should not be no blemishes at all. And um, the number one stigma is that when they see someone who has psoriasis, first is that they think that it is contagious. So they think that they might get it if they go near the person or if they handshake with them. We have cases that they think that the person was cursed. And to some, they think that it is something to do with hygiene. They think that, oh, this person might not be taking a bath or maybe this person is unclean. So we also face a good deal of discrimination. When you meet someone who has psoriasis and they say to you that, I understand what you're going through because I myself uh, went through that. And that just breaks the ice. Uh, it feels that uh, you are connected with someone and having a support group or having a community it gives you a sense of community. That in itself is a big help already for you to have someone to talk to.